Hello Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 19th of February. This week is all about proportion in terms of your energy, what you do for other people and how that's balanced against your own needs and desires really. Because late last week Mercury moved into the part of your horoscope that's to do with precision but it's also to do with the detail of things. But because it's in the sign of Pisces, you really are going to have to concentrate hard. As this week begins, so the Sun joins with Mercury, and on the first two days, they're together in such a way which can give you a real ability to grapple with the minutiae of situations if you really concentrate. Now, both of them then go on to forge really positive angles to Saturn, now, Saturn may have a bad reputation, but in this context, it could see you having a little bit of a clear-out in your home environment, any kind of declutter or way in which you can improve order or organisation will help you to feel so much more effective. And so, if you can create some more space, I think it will help you to feel lighter in yourself. But the main challenge of this week, really, comes from the fact that Already, Venus, your ruler, is in this sector, combining with Neptune, the planet of sacrifice, but also of dreams, which has been here since 2012. It's possible you really could go the extra mile to help someone and could be very compassionate, especially if you work in a caring profession. But equally, both of these planets are angling in a rather aggravating way with Mars, the planet of drive. And that's in your sector of ideas, but also physical energy. If you do feel that you're overdoing it, or other people are making too many demands, or having very high expectations of just how much you should pick up whatever they're not doing completely themselves, I think it can be not just dispiriting, I think your energy can absolutely drain away. And the quarter moon, which occurs on Thursday of this week, in your sister air sign of Gemini, is a point in case. This is really going to see you tempted, potentially, to be even more productive and, um, and also efficient in the second half of the week. But that could see you taking on more and more, which will just drain your inner battery down. I think, therefore, this week is all about creating some firm boundaries, but also, at the same time, still doing your bit to uh, put your help and input into a situation, but other people have got to put their effort in too. That's what I think you need to be demanding. Now, as this week draws to a close, I'd like to tell you also about Uranus, the planet of surprises in your sector of relationships. That's in an obtuse angle with Jupiter, which is all about uh, money and your sense of values and the foundations in your world. I think it's possible that someone close to you may be aggravating that need for security. And if need be, perhaps here too, you're going to need to make a stand. Now, one of the things about Venus and Mars being in a right angle, is it may compromise your natural diplomacy. But actually this week, I think that can be a good thing. But what's really important before you do have your say is to make sure your facts are really clear because of the distorting potential of Neptune. So if someone tells you something, especially someone who may have a bit of an agenda, think very carefully before you speak up and act upon it. But once you do, do be firm about what you will or won't do. And then if you can do that, this can be a tremendously positive time to look for new jobs, as I say, get more efficient at home, look after yourself in a stronger and better way as far as your fitness and vitality are concerned. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do so, like or comment. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.